so in question number 42 a silver ornament of mass m gram so silver oda mass enna koduthirukanga they have given m gram right m gram it is polished with gold equivalent to 1% of mass of silver appa gold ku evlo ma what is it 1% of m 1% of m gram na what is it ma 1 by 100 into m which is equal to m by 100 you can take it as okay so m by 100 is nothing but the mass of gold this is given mass okay so how will you find the number of atoms you all know that number of atoms is nothing but equal to number of moles into avogadro number what is number of moles given mass by molar mass molar mass right hmm so given mass by molar mass into avogadro number will give you the number of atoms so for silver what is the number of atoms given mass is what 108 uh, sorry given mass is m gram correct uh? so given mass is m gram divided by molar mass is what 108 gram into avogadro number is what na clear this is to i have to find the ratio of atoms of gold and silver in the ornament right uh? so this is to i have to find it for the same thing for gold what it will be what is the given mass m by 100 so it is m by 100 divided by what is its molar mass 197 gram okay multiplied by avogadro number here as well i can actually cancel out this avogadro number on both sides and try to simplify it and they have given see avogadro number i can cancel it out m i can cancel out on both sides so what i'll end up with 1 by 108 is to 1 by 197 double zero these two zeros go down right ah so what is the ratio they are asking and the ratio is atoms of gold to that of silver okay so here it is silver to gold so if in case you want the other way around gold to silver then you reciprocate it you just change it out okay what is it what is it gold how much is it 1 oh, by 1 by 1.7 hmm and the silver 108 so what should you do you should have to cross multiply so you'll get 108 is to 19700 clear then you can do some cancellations and find out what is the final answer for this one or you can actually straight away divide it you will get it as 1 is to 182 dot 4 this will be your final answer this is gold to that of silver this ratio okay so what is given to us in 43 a sample of ethane which is c2h6 as the same mass as that of this many molecules of methane so what is it they are giving ethane oda mass oh methane this many molecules of methane oda mass oh it is the same na koduthirukanga now you have to find how many molecules of ethane does this particular sample contain okay so first of all we do not know the mass of ethane right to find the number of molecules number of molecules how we will find molar number of moles into avogadro number putting na you can find the number of molecules but here in this question what is given to us straight away ethane ethane oda given mass kudukla rather it has the same mass as that of what this many molecules of methane nu kuduthirukanga so first of all given number of particles right uh, divided by avogadro number of particles will give you the number of moles of methane correct uh? number of moles of ch4 how is that you can find number of moles here they have not given us mass rather they have given you the molecules number of particles kodutaanga na then you should have to divide by avogadro number correct uh? so it is given number of particles divided by avogadro number good so what is the given number of particles 1.5 into 10 power 20 divided by what is avogadro number what is avogadro number 6.0022 23 good so this is the avogadro number 
So either end thing divide panna in the value that it is giving you what number of moles. Fine. Now you have the number of moles. Can you calculate the mass of this one? Yes, because molar mass of CH four first I can cal try to calculate. What is the molar mass of CH four? For carbon it is twelve. Plus four hydrogen is there. Each one mass is one. So what it will be? Twelve plus four, which is sixteen grams, will be the molar mass of CH four. Correct, huh? Number of moles now you have. Okay. So mass of this many particles. How much? One point five into ten power twenty molecules of CH four. What will be the mass? Number of moles into molar mass. Correcta. Huh? You have actually found out what is the number of moles. Number of moles is how much it is? Number of moles is this ratio, right? Ah, huh? you can try to simplify the ten part. Here it is ten part twenty. Here it is ten part twenty three. So actually, I can cancel out ten part twenty both ways, and I'll end up with ten part minus three in the numerator. Okay. And uh, here one point five approximately goes four times for six. One by four, bro. So one by four into ten power minus three, you can have this done. One by four into ten power minus three, approximately. Or you can just keep this number as such, and ten power minus three, matto, you can just bring it down. Okay. So how much you will have number of moles? It is one point five divided by six point zero two two into ten power minus three. This is the number of moles. Correct. Right. This is number of moles. When you multiply it with the molar mass, what is the molar mass? Sixteen gram. We have found it out. So into sixteen panna, that will be the mass of this many molecules of CH four. And what is that they have given? The ethane sample that we have here, it has the same mass as that of this many molecules. Correct? Ah, in the ethane sample. Up a sample ethane, how much is there? This many grams of ethane is present. We do have this many grams of ethane. So, what is the question now? How many C two H six molecules does this sample of gas contain? How many molecules does this contain? Number of molecules. How will you call? Ma'am, given mass by molar mass in ten. C two H six. What is it, ma'am? Given mass into molar mass. What? No, ma'am. Given mass by molar mass in ten. No, ma'am. Good. Correct. So, given mass by molar mass will give you what number of moles into n a. You have to work it out. So, what is the molar mass of C two H six? Two carbon rigor, so two times twelve plus six hydrogens are there, so six times one. So how much you will get? Twenty-four no, plus six, which is, huh? Thirty. Thirty. Good. So it is thirty gram. So given mass by molar mass, we have to work out this given mass thing. Mass of how many particles under it is nothing but this value into sixteen. Correcta. Inge ida avagyaro numbera straight akura we can just have it done. So one point five into ten power twenty. Given mass is what? One point five into ten power twenty divided by Avogadro number into sixteen. This is the given mass divided by molar mass. How much is it? Thirty whole multiplied by Avogadro number. So I like in the Avogadro numbers, it will get multi uh, cancelled out over here. So you'll end up with this fact. What is it? One point five into ten power twenty into sixteen divided by thirty. So how much this will be? One point five. Actually, I can make it as what? Fifteen. So fifteen one times and fifteen two times I can take. So this will be one times and this is eight two eight times. So I'll get approximately point eight into ten power twenty to be the. What is it? Number of molecules of 
ethane C2H6. So number of molecules then either if this is the given mass divided by molar mass into Avogadro number. So your Avogadro number Na Na it get cancelled and you can very simplify easily simplify this part. So how much you are getting? 0.8 into 10 power 20. So this is the number of molecules of C2H6. Clear about this? So what is that we have here? Both the particles, that is methane, as well as the sample of ethane have got the same mass. But methane, what is it? It has got a different molar mass. Accordingly, the number of moles will be different, correct? So according to the number of moles, its mass and all that will be varying. So now they have asked us to find how many molecules of this sample is there. Which one? Ethane. So to find the number of molecules, what formula we are applying? Number of moles, right? Into Avogadro number. Number of moles, how is that we can derive? First of all, you have to find the number of molecules of what? Number of molecules of methane has been given to us. From that, using the molar mass, you have to find the number of moles of methane. Correct? And then you can find the number of uh, the mass of that particular ma number of particles. And using that mass, I'm equating that mass, right? The given mass, whatever I have found out, I'm equating that over here to the number of the mass of the ethane sample that we have here. So this now has become what? The given mass of ethane. And what is this 30 here? Molar mass of ethane into Avogadro number gives us what? The number of molecules of ethane that we have in hand that is present in our sample. Okay. First question, what is the answer mass? Subdivision A. In a chemical reaction, sum of masses of reactants and products remain unchanged. So what law is this? Law of um, conservation. Conservation of Conservation of what? Mass. Conservation of mass. Mass, ma'am, sorry. Because masses remain unchanged. Good. A group of atoms carrying a fixed charge on them is called? Ma'am, ions, ma'am. Group of atoms. Just to verify ions, you have to call it as polyatomic atomic ion. ions. Polyatomic ions. So, in the third unit, la tabulation, the third column you will get, right? OH minus and all that. So they have more than one atom present in it and also they are carrying a charge. If you look heading, you have polyatomic ions in that tabulation of ions. The formula unit mass of Ca3PO4 twice. What is this called? Formula unit mass. You have to find this molecular mass. Yeah. So what is it? For calcium, how much is it? For calcium, how much is it? Calcium, phosphorus, oxygen. See, this is the table given to you in your fourth unit. Okay, you have got the number of protons and neutrons over here. So the number of protons and number of neutrons together contribute the mass of any atom. Correct? So what is the number of protons given to us here? For phosphorus, protons is 15. And neutrons is 16. So 15 plus 16, how much it will be? 31, ma'am. Good. So 31 is the mass. Okay. Same way for calcium also, you know, in yours, the same unit, you have some concept related to isotopes. In that, they would have given you. In case of isobars, you have a concept related to... One second. Right. See? Calcium. It has got atomic number 20. Right? But its mass is what? 40. Atomic number 20. So 20 protons and 20 neutrons. So its mass is what? 40. So this you will be using it in your which one? This problem. So how will you calculate? You can't keep saying uh, that data was not given to us. No, that is not acceptable. So what is it for calcium? What did we calculate it as? 40. Uh, right? 40. CA it is 3 in number. And now PO4 twice means P twice and O eight times. 
clear this 2 is common for both p as well as o so p how many p is there it is 2 how many oxygen atoms are there four two times it is eight so now you have to calculate this part for phosphorus just now we saw it was 31 and for oxygen how much is the mass mass it is 16 you know so you have to multiply all of these and find out the total answer clear what is the total that you are getting calculate and then let me know the answer comes out as 310 but you calculate and let me know the answer formula of sodium carbonate is dash and ammonium sulfate is dash what is it for sodium carbonate ma yes ma so for sodium it is na plus and for carbonate it is co3 2 minus right so how is it you can go about it sodium na it is 1 plus carbonate is co3 2 minus so do you you do a cross multiplication so you'll get it as na2 co3 right two atoms of sodium combines with one polyatomic ion of carbonate in order to form sodium carbonate clear what does this mean sodium it can give away one electron whereas carbonate it requires two electrons so two sodium atoms donate two electrons to carbonate in order to form this compound clear same thing for ammonium sulfate what is it for ammonium ammonium it is and it's one plus it's a polyatomic ion with one plus correct next one is ammonium sulfate what is sulfate so4 two minus what does this mean so4 requires two electrons whereas nh4 can provide only one electron so how is that this can acquire two electrons from two nh4 molecules right so two electrons are transferred from two molecules of NH4 or two polyatomic ions of NH4. So you can write it as what? NH4 twice SO4. When we are writing polyatomic, we put them into brackets and then put this two, right? So it is this. This is the molecular formula of which one? Ammonium sulfate. Clear? See, question number 47, they're asking you to find the molecular mass of each of these, okay? Caustic potash, you might not be knowing it is not there in your book, but still KOH is caustic potash for your knowledge, I'm telling you, okay? KOH. So you have to calculate its molecular mass. The second one, it is baking powder. What is baking powder? NAHCO3, sodium hydrogen carbonate is baking powder. Then third one, C, limestone, it is calcium carbonate, CaCO3, okay? Caustic soda. Caustic soda is NaOH. Sodium hydroxide is otherwise called as what? Caustic soda. And E ethanol. Ethanol is C2H5OH. This is ethanol. Just like ethane we saw right now, right? In that, if in case instead of one hydrogen on OH group adds on to it, now, then it is ethanol. Then F common salt. This you know. What is it? NaCl. I guess two of these are very much familiar to you. One is CaCO3 and NaCl. Okay. Apart from that, other common names, you please get to know it. Okay. And for these the molecular masses, you have to calculate. I guess you know how to calculate the molecular masses. How will you do it? How will you do it? For potassium, what is the molecular mass? Or atomic mass? For potassium, it is... What is it for potassium? Do you know? 39 it is. Okay. For oxygen, 16. For hydrogen, it is 1. So you have to add them and find what it is. Same way I want you to try out, find out the answer for all of this. I'll write the final answers alone. But you have to do the calculation and let me know whether you got this answer correct or not. Okay. For the first one, it is 56 gram per mole okay the second one 84 gram per mole so this is molar mass okay so molar mass you can write or 84 u or amu that is your molecular mass you can give but in the question they have asked you to calculate the molecular mass 
So molecular mass, you can mention it in AMU. Fine. Calcium carbonate, CaCO3, the final answer is 100. This in previous problems, we already have come across 100. NaOH, it is 40. Atomic mass units. And for ethanol, when you calculate, it is 46. See, ethanol, keep in mind, here there is five hydrogen and here there is one more. So totally six hydrogens are there. Okay. So 46 AMU. And for NaCl, it is 58.5. This also in AMU we can state, right? So these are the formulas for these common names and also their molecular masses we have calculated it over here. Clear? Please make a note of it, but you have to do the calculation individually. You have to show the addition how you get at this answer. Now. Fine? In photosynthesis, six molecules of carbon dioxide. How is it you can write? Six CO2 combines with an equal number of water molecules plus six H2O, right? It combines with water molecules through a complex series of reactions. It gives what? A molecule of glucose. What is it? C6, H12O6 plus. What other thing will be released in this process? What are the byproducts of photosynthesis that we know of? Photosynthesis byproduct oxygen comes out, right? Do you know this? Yes, ma'am. Yes. And anything else? So photosynthesis uh, input is carbon dioxide and output what? It is oxygen. Apart from that, this glucose is our main molecule which is produced in this process of photosynthesis, right? So as per our question, how many grams of water would be required to produce 18 gram of glucose? Okay, as per this equation, what is it? Ma? Six molecules of water is required to produce one molecule of glucose, correct? Ah? Six molecules of H2O is required to produce one molecule of, what is it? Glucose, C6H12O6. So this is the scenario, right? So how many grams of water would be required to produce 18 gram of glucose? Fine. So now you have to relate it with reference to mass. So here they have given you the number of molecules. I guess you will be knowing how to convert this number of molecules into mass. What is the molar mass of H2O? 18 gram. So for one mole, what is it? 18 grams you will call it as, right? In terms of gram solanona. Here it is just in terms of molecules they have given you. Number of molecules. Six molecules give you what gives you what? One molecule of. Or you can say six moles of it. How much? It will give you. That way you have to calculate it. Okay. So here we have to produce one mole of glucose. You have got six moles of H2O, which is required, right? So to produce one mole of glucose. So what is the molar mass of glucose? It is 180. So 180 grams, right? To produce 180 grams of glucose, what is required? Six moles of H2O is required. What is six moles of H2O? Six times one mole. What is the mass of one mole? 18 grams. Correct? Six into 18 gram of H2O is required. Clear? So what is the question here? They are asking you how much grams of water is required to produce 18 gram of glucose. So 180 gram of glucose requires 6 into 18 grams of H2O. So what does 18 gram of glucose require? So you do a cross multiplication, right? So what is that? 18 into 6 into 18 divided by 180. Clear? So when you do the cancellations, what is that you will get? This is 18 1 times, 18 10 times. And this is, uh, this again here, it is an 18. So you can get this cancelled or you can just multiply 6 into 18 divided by 10. Now decimally, you will get it straight away, right? So what is it? 18 gram of glucose requires how many grams of water? What is the calculated value? Ten point eight grams. Clear? 
I multiplied this and divided by 10, thereby we are getting 10.8 grams. This is your answer. So the question here is, how much grams of water will be required to produce 18 gram of glucose? By using the molar mass concept, we have actually found out that for producing 180 gram of glucose, 6 into 18 gram of H2O is required, right? So this in turn, for 18 grams of glucose, how much is required? It's a direct proportion, okay? Do a cross multiplication and find out. So the answer that we get is 10.8 gram of water is required, okay? And that they are asking you to compute its volume. Volume means what? You mention it in centimeter cube or meter cube, whatever. And they have given the density of water to be what? One gram per centimeter cube. What is density? What is density? The mass by volume. Mass by volume. Good. So the mass is given to us and they have asked you to find the volume. So how is that you can write volume as mass by density, right? So what is the mass given to us here? 10.8 gram divided by 1 gram per centimeter cube. Correct? Huh? So gram will get cancelled. 10.8 you will get it as and the centimeter per minus 3 when it goes up, it becomes centimeter cube. Right? So what is the volume? Volume is 10.8 centimeter cube okay volume of water required for producing how much 18 grams of glucose is how much 10.8 centimeter cube clear about this 